and welcome to an episode of American Truck Simulator. In today's episode, we're going to be hauling... You know, I have an issue with forgetting exactly what I picked for hauling. Mainly because I pick what we're going to haul, then I go do something else for a, a long time, and then I come back to my computer. A lift truck. 118,000 pounds. Not sure I should be able to haul that, no problem. Then again, I've had this truck for, I believe, over a year. And since it's 2019, I've decided that I feel like I really want to switch to a different truck. That reason being is because almost, well, all of 2018, well, the, well, as long as I was doing YouTube in 2018, for six months or more, I've had this exact truck. The only thing I've done is changed the paint jobs on it a bit, and that's really it. And in 2018, my computer broke a billion times, too. Because that was just great. It broke three times. Two times, it was completely unusable. The OS had corrupted for no particular reason. I turned it off, and then it corrupted. Although, it hasn't done that since October. October was actually my least viewed month, too. My most viewed month was the September, oddly. I think it's funny how I went from my most viewed my best month, which was se September, to my worst month, which was October. Well, worst as in kind of recently. But then again, I got the same number of views in December as I did in September. So, I'm actually not even just happy with myself. I'm just, like, so thankful about how well my YouTube has been doing. And also just how nice a lot of people are on my YouTube. When people comment on my YouTube, I've only had a few people that are complete dicks. But that's it. So one person told me to be a Muslim and then I don't know. Someone that was making some sort of racist joke and called me told me to be a Muslim and then get shot. I don't really know. Seriously, how much of a dick are some people? But besides, like, the one or two people, almost everyone that has commented on my YouTube account, on my YouTube videos, has been so nice. And I love helping people out, too. It's like, someone commented, Hey, I want to get a gaming computer that can run BMG Drive. So, I just happened to, um, leave a pretty long comment. It was so long. And obviously, I'm going to blow the names out of that person because, well, I mean, you can go find it, but I'm I don't I'm not sure if they want me to show them in a new video of mine. But I am so thankful for the way that my YouTube community, I, I well, I, I don't really want to use the word community because everyone is like, oh, you you don't get that many views, and it's like, okay, I'm just kind of starting out. But uh, okay, if I just get my phone here. I never thought my YouTube account would ever get as many views as getting 1,870 views in the last 28 days. And, okay, I just kind of went quiet there because I was managing the shifting on this truck. But, I am, like, just, the f I never thought I would reach that sort of numbers. And even though I don't make any money off YouTube because I don't have any ads in my videos, I may put ads on my videos eventually when I have a lot more subscribers, but right now it's just like, yeah, I don't care. And also, I don't like doing clickbait videos. To me, I don't like watching clickbait, so I don't want to make clickbait either. And yeah, I know you get a bunch of views, and then, but the issue is, is that even though you do get a bunch of views from clickbait, trust me, getting clickbait views aren't good because then they don't really stick around. They just kind of watch that video and. You really don't get that many subscribers from just a clickbait video because they click on it, watch it, and they're like, oh, nothing involving what that, what the title was about. That's why I have unsubscribed to a lot of people that do clickbait. I used to be that one person, well, actually not that one person. Everyone from my school, it seems like everyone from my school watches a lot of YouTubers. Let's, let's say, um, if they're in the Grand Theft Auto, Greasy Jimmy. Why do you want to watch one of those 
when they used to make Grand Theft Auto videos, and now it's just well, Mr. Best for the win. He still makes Grand Theft Auto videos sometimes. But the thing is, though, is that with the amount of clickbait that he does, I'm surprised he has any subscribers left. Grand Theft Auto's just kind of gotten dull, so everyone just has to do that sort of stuff. But the thing is, is that Greasy Jimmy makes videos about, well, used to, at least, make videos about, that had a title, Kid Falls Off Building, and then it's a video of some people on a building. That's exactly 10 minutes long. And it's like, why? And that was a nice ear change if you ask me. God, I'm terrible. I wonder how many miles we have on our truck so far. We have just over 10,000 miles, which means on this exact truck I've gone about 500 real life miles. And then if you also add in my old account, my old account on this game, I've driven this truck so far. And I might just go do the math somewhere sometime, not today. And I might put it on the screen right now about how far I've actually driven in total. But yeah, I've had this truck for way too long. I love it. It's a really nice truck, but I just... It's not that I want to switch, but it's just like... Come on, you're doing the same exact thing on YouTube forever. It's just like... Just, no. With YouTube, you gotta keep changing up your stuff. Or at least just have a variety of stuff that you always show. I have... Wait, when I make videos, I have Beam to Drive, which is always a different video. Well... I have some series going on with Beam to Drive. I have my Is Beam G correct series. Then I also have my BMG Off-Road series. It's been so long since I made a BMG, well, it used to be so long ago when I made a BMG Off-Road series video, but I recently just uploaded one. Actually, this week on Monday I did, and it's get snowing really hard now. Although, I really could be bothered to turn my wipers up, and let's go a little faster. I know fuel economy is going to be hurt by this, but so I don't want to be going 40 miles per hour. And yes, it is now January 2019. And I'm hoping 2019 is just a fabulous year. Because 2018, for buying computer parts? Oh, it was crap. So first we had the Bitcoin thing, then we had the RAM shortage. And then when those things overlapped, it was just like buying a computer. Building, well, at least building one. Was so darn expensive you couldn't even imagine doing it but now all the prices are down and everything's good it's going to eight high this is kind of a downhill with the way that 2018 has gone i can hope so much that 2019 will be an even better year for me because in 2018 i know i did a, some videos in 2017 but most of my videos have been in 2018 if i go look here um currently on my phone while i'm driving now I'm going to select the button to, to see how the last year has been. There we go. And I can, I can I can't drive on the road. Okay, so in the last year, 2018, I got 16,317 views, which honestly that is so crazy to me just to see. Now I know, basically every other YouTuber that you watch is just, you know, 15 billion times better than that and have over 100 million views, but I'm just, like, amazed at what I have seen on from here. 27,000 minutes watch time, which, once again, I'm so thankful. Although my average view duration is really not all that good, 1 minute 42 seconds. And in 2018, I got 83 comments, which might not seem like a lot to you, but trust me. If you ran YouTube and you just started out in your first year and you didn't have a big, huge, popular video that got over like a million views, and you just did YouTube, you would want these sort of numbers in just a year. Especially at my age, when I'm not gonna disclose my age, except just saying, with these sorts of numbers, when I'm older, I will hopefully be able to make a slight profit off YouTube. I'm not gonna be the sort of person which is like, just exactly 10 minute videos and you might notice from the video I released yesterday in the uh, city car driving it was exactly 
one or two seconds under 10 minutes because when you see a video that's just over 10 minutes or exactly 10 minutes, you, do you know what it means when a video is that long? Well, when a video is 10 minutes or longer, you can add as many ads to the video as you want. Which, I think kind of looks, I, I don't like watching a video that has, that's just over that because then it automatically looks to me like it's a clickbait video. I know it's about a G-Wagon, so I don't really know how I can make clickbait there, but whatever. And that's going to be hard stuff. And... Well, the last episode, I don't think I crashed into anyone. Sorry, Lexus. And whatever. I said Lexus, and she enabled. So I crashed into Alexis. So I guess she just responds to being called Alexis. Shut up. When don't run it, don't run it, don't run it. Okay, good. I didn't get fined. One reason that December was one of my best month months is because in December I released two videos which were about updates and when you cover updates in games or just in general about how to do something Holy crap, you get a lot of views. But you don't see me do th those sorts of videos all the time. I just do them occasionally when, you know, I feel like it might help someone. Like, sometime soon. I don't know when. But I'm going to make a video about how to shove a huge graphics card into an Alienware Aurora, which you can't really... You can't really fit it in properly unless you were to use duck... Duck... Well, the only method of really doing it is jank. There's no solid way of doing it correctly. You'll see that maybe next week, maybe... I don't know, don't ask me. So the videos that I released was a BMG Drive update video. And then for some reason, when the new BMG Drive update came out, the most recent one, the 0.15 update, for some reason, my video about update 0.14 started getting more views, even though I'd already made a video about update 0.15 don't really know why, but yeah, so if I look at this, the image drive, 0.14, in December, it got, uh, okay, okay, this is gonna take a minute to look at, 234 views, and then, my BMG 1.5, uh, not 1.5, 0 0.15 video, get 29 views, so, don't really know why, but, yeah. Also, I find it kind of odd that my... The videos that I have the most views on are all tutorials. There is a tutorial about how to use a manual transmission and sing on. Let's shift up real quick. But anyway, my most viewed video, my most viewed videos are how to use a manual transmission and a steering gun Grand Theft Auto 5. And then my second most viewed video, about how to put a new hard drive in an Alienware Aurora. R6. I, I, I don't like this computer. I really don't. Because there's zero room to work inside of it. And also because... Well, Alienware just cheaps out on everything. And for some reason, this computer uses... 2 to 4 gigabytes of RAM. Idle. With nothing running. Except just Task Manager. You just go look at Task Manager and... 2 gigabytes of my RAM... Well two to four gigabytes, really, of my RAM used, just idle. That was a little, yeah, I probably should have shifted a little differently than I did there. And looks like we're sitting through another red light. But, oh wait, no, I get to turn to the right, so no. All of those gears were grinded. God, this transmission's gonna hate me. Well, it already does, really. And also, I didn't drive as much as I really wanted to in December. And in December, I got 2.1 thousand views, which is a lot higher than November. November was 1.8 thousand. And we're rolling back. Is there seriously that much of a slope here? Just, I know the retarder is activated game. Shut up. Retarder won't affect me if I'm just taking off. Let's see how this shift goes. Ah, perfect. 
And let's look in that mirror. We don't want to run completely off the road. Okay, that was good enough. You know, I kind of don't like it. If I'm watching an American Truck Simulator video and someone actually just revs it up like this, just waits till the, where the red line is, and then shifts. Because I just can't stand to do that, and nah, that's not good. Sorry, that person in that. I think that's a board expedition behind me. That was a very abrupt lane change. Not really much warning about that. You know, I used to drive like that. And when I used to drive like that, when I would just floor it until it got up to speed, or until it got up to the red line, I used to think, how do you shift so early? But now I'm the complete opposite. I'm like, how do you shift so late? Like right now, I'm running at half the RPMs I would normally run at. Well, not normally. Well, what I used to do. And all of that was clutch shifting because I wasn't going to take the time to actually ref batch it. This is going to have to be a fast one. Okay. Thank you, Chuck, for stopping. Yeah. A little grind. And we're already here. I did intentionally pick a really short delivery just because I wanted the video to be kind of more packed than usual and I want all the stuff that I was spurting out of my mouth to be kind of more compressed into a video that was shorter so that I didn't have to drown it out and out and out. And you know, now that I feel like this, I feel like this video has been about exactly 10 minutes and if it has, then you might notice weird edits throughout the video because I'll be trying to cut on time as much as possible to be, make it under 10 minutes. Or if it's a little longer than 10 minutes, I'm just gonna not get, really care. I hate clickbait. How many times have I said I hate clickbait throughout this episode? A lot. Oh look, the first stoplight where you don't have to uh, hold the brake. Oh, and buddy, you're getting close to my trailer. Just hit it. You think you're going to get past me, really? I swear that guy was mm, such an idiot. Oh, and crap. Sorry. Didn't notice how the road got smaller. Someone, the, someone pulls a dick move on me, and then I pull a dick move on someone else. Huh. Oh, deck. And I just crashed into that guy's trailer. That's not good. Ah, uh, that's really not good. Overall, my driving style. Don't take driving lessons from me, that's for sure. Well, to be fair... Considering my age... Yeah, I'd be better than a lot of kids my age. Okay, it just popped up to say that it would go in. And there we go. Okay, shut her off. So, hopefully you liked this episode, and goodbye.